Yep, I'm live again. Good morning to you from a rather windy and stormy Republic of Ireland. I had a lovely workshop yesterday online, really enjoyed myself. Three quick ways to calm your mind and focus. A group of people from around the world, from India and from America, and uh, calling in from around Europe and Greece and few other places really enjoyable lovely talk and the focus of the session was very very quick ways of calming the mind things that you could do three strategies that you can employ and which will take less than five seconds to enable you to calm the mind and return to focus that's what the workshop was about now in some ways that's a quick fix uh Quick fixes are great when you need a quick fix. The problem with quick fixes is that they tend to uh, fix the symptoms of a problem, but not necessarily the causes of a problem. Doesn't mean they're not useful, they're very useful, but they need to be used in uh, association with or alongside medium term fixes and long term fixes. And, you know, what medium term and long term means to you is up to you but for me a short-term fix is something that can take about five seconds and go oh sort this out now there's something i need to sort out i'm a little bit confused or whatever what can i do right now okay good i've calmed my mind and i can carry on that's short term medium term so short term is about breaking a cycle of something that's happening interrupting it medium term is about changing habitual thinking. For me, the main medium term process I engage in now is a regular practice of Qigong. For other people, it might be yoga or it might be long distance running or it might be a practice of going and gardening or you know, hugging trees or volunteering for a local community group, whatever, something that moves you away and habituates you habituates you away from negative thought or destructive thought or self undermining thinking. That's sort of medium term work. Long term work for me is conceptual. Understanding the frameworks by which your system works. If you understand the framework that your system works within, by system I mean your body mind, the relationship between thinking and how that thinking appears in your body. Long term conceptual thinking means you get to understand how it is that you actually operate. And once you understand that, it's much easier as your body changes, as your situation changes, as you age, as you get more experience, you have the framework to create your own new quick fixes. You're not just trapped saying, I don't understand how this works. You go, I do understand how this works and therefore I can make informed and empowered decisions about how to change my behavior for my own long-term health. That's about empowerment. Short-term fixes are about interrupting a cycle. Medium-term fixes are about creating more healthy cycles. Long-term fixes are about understanding how the whole damn thing works. Yesterday, we worked just on the short-term fixes. It was really enjoyable. That training will be available soon-ish as a standalone training for people to, uh, to access. When I'm coaching people, then Often we are working on the long-term fixes or the long-term developments, but it doesn't mean I won't sometimes in the middle of a conversation just say, stop now, where's the tension in your body? Let it drop. That's a short-term interruption. If I think somebody's getting caught up in a, a thinking pattern. I did also part of coaching is suggesting regular daily practices that will encourage people towards healthier habits of thinking. So as we start this week, I hope it's slightly less stormy for you than it is for me. What are your immediate go to short term fixes? What are you doing to rehabituate your thinking in the medium term? And what can you do to find out a little bit more 
about how your system actually works so that you can ultimately take control over it. If you want to talk to me about it, reach out to me. I'm here on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, email. I'm here. Connect with me if you want to. You can't be my friend on Facebook, I'm afraid. Facebook only lets me have 5,000 friends and I've got them. So sorry, but you can connect with my Facebook page or whatever else. But if you want to go further with any of these thoughts, reach out to me. Now, I hope you have a magnificent week.